there's a bigger world. Within your own experience, there's a bigger experience where it is possible for you to get beyond your immediate experience and seek out that that is human, that unites us uh, as, as human beings. In Africa, we have this concept of Ubuntu, which is humaneness. It means uh, I'm not human without your being present and my allowing you to be present. I am human because you are human. So out of that concept, we therefore then see that we have a shared experience, but also we can find one another and uh, create a, a peaceful coexistence. It's not a mystery. It is something plain and simple. We are human beings and we should feel with each other and feel for each other. This is Ubuntu that I must do to other people what I want other people to do to me. That I am a Mundu, a human being, because of other human beings around me. The spirit of Ubuntu means this thing of helping each other. Like in Zulu, we used to say, a child is raised by the community. If a child is mine, it's not basically mine that I have to do all things. Each and every member of the community needs to contribute in you know, raising that child. So that's basically our cultural spirit of Ubuntu. And as a result, that if I see my neighbor hungry, I have to make sure that I don't go in bed with a full stomach while my neighbor is hungry. So that's basically the whole concept of cooperative. It's actually about helping each other. I say it's a concept that is present here in Africa, but I also believe it's present in all human beings if it is allowed to thrive and to um, prosper. This is a spirit of sharing. If I have something and I can see you are suffering and it's, there's something that I can give to you, which maybe um, is something I need, but I find that by giving this to you, I create a relationship with you. I create a better understanding between us. You know, we operate from the fact that I am because you are, um, meaning I cannot, I cannot be myself if you're not yourself. You know, almost like that, like, you gotta be okay for me to be okay. You know, I, I, it's not, a, it's, it's live, you know, these things are not only about me, that together we can be able to make it. So what, if you recognize that I, I am who I am because you, you are, then, 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 you know, everything else will be, will be really taken care of. I must never allow my neighbor to go hungry while I've got a little food in my house. I must never deny my neighbor water. I must never deny my neighbor's animals grass. We as human beings must sustain each other, even in the hours of the direst peril. The concept of Ubuntu means that you as a living person should be always extending to other people so that you can be equal to them. If you're better off, make them even better. And if you are worse off, ask for something from someone so that we can all live peacefully together. And if you see someone 
back, backwards than you. you. You bring them on board and, and you create a greater journey going forward. So that's, that's basically Ubuntu. I don't think in moving forward into the modern world, we should leave behind those values that uh, were, were critical to our existence. I mean, one of the things, for example, is looking after the planet. We have to look after this planet. It was, the earth was given to us and we've got to protect it. We've got to, um, when we pass on, leave it in a condition where those who have come bef uh, after us can continue to exist and enjoy what is given to all of us uh, freely by nature. We practice it by feeding each other. We practice it by watching over each other's health. In African villages, where there is peace, people greet each other and ask each other, have you, have you taken porridge? Is your stomach full? And if your stomach is not full, my neighbor, come into my house, let me fill your stomach for you. Ubuntu is nothing more or less than compassion brought into colorful practice.